Welcome to MLS Playoff Central. I am Andrew Wiebe. Next to me, the incomparable <laughs> Simon Borg. And we're here on this Thursday night in the wake of the New York Rebels 2-1 victory against Sporting Kansas City in the Eastern Conference knockout round, Simon. And we're going to break this whole game down, but let's start with the play that decided the game. In the 90th minute, Bradley Wright Phillips, the goal key himself, the TIFO came down before this match started. He gets the winner, and what happened on this play for Sporting Kansas City? Did they think it was out of play? Yeah, the way the ball came off Ambrosio Yongo's foot, the cross, looked like he muffed it. I thought it was going to go five rows in, and you see the defenders are a little confused, and the ball's in the air. I thought Eric Kronberg, the goalkeeper, had time to come off his line. It hung in the air that long. No one's reacting, but Bradley Wright Phillips is reading it perfectly. That was a tough header. The way the ball is falling vertically right on his head, but he puts it where he needs to, and Eric Kronberg is probably going to go home and feel he should have done better there. Yeah, a little bit disappointed on the field after the match. Bradley Wright Phillips, 29 goals between the regular season in the playoffs that is second only second to Roy Lassiter who got 33 in 1996 combined but Simon Sporting Kansas City they'll feel like they wasted an opportunity a 1-0 lead through Dom Dwyer their game plan it worked to perfection, to perfection but only for 76 minutes yeah they had 11 guys in their own half Kansas City did frustrated the Red Bulls the Red Bulls wayward passes their their movements weren't there to try, try to make space uh, attackers were getting the ball with the with their backs to goal so nothing was really happening for the Red Bulls meanwhile Kansas City they were looking for the long balls over the top for Dom Dwyer almost worked in the 35th minute and then the goal they took took advantage of a turnover and went right at the Red Bulls 53rd minute you saw the Benny Failhaber pass and this was the formula that worked in the MLS Cup run last year Failhaber coming up with the big pass in the key moment he does it here you're not going to see a better pass all postseason and at that point one nothing up I thought Sporting Kansas City had New York right where they wanted them. yeah they certainly had to feel a little bit fortunate for some high profile misses from the likes of Thierry Henry Tim Cahill and Bradley Wright Phillips but it was a man off the bench for the Red Bulls that truly made the difference Peggy Lulandula comes on in the 65th minute for Eric Alexander and the vertical passing game opened right up we talked about the second goal but you think Sporting KC could have done better on the first, too. Yeah, no doubt Luyendola, great vision by him on that first goal, but he got some help, in my opinion, from Kevin Ellis. The right back for Sporting Kansas City, the third string right back, over-aggressive. Over he overcommits there. He did that a few times during the game, but he opens the space for Terry Henry, who gets the ball. It leads to the equalizer, and at 1-1, you thought Kansas City lost their opportunity in this one. And it's the story, really, of Sporting Kansas City's season. Third string right back, because your other two are injured, makes a little bit inexperienced play there and it leads you to being out of the playoffs. Yeah, Peter Vermees said it. Fatigue, injuries, they were going to play a role in this game. And now, the Red Bulls moving on. The Atlantic Cup and the Eastern Conference semifinals. DC United making the short trip north to Red Bull Arena on Sunday. You can watch that game on Univision Deportes and MLS Live. Simon, this promises to be a magnificent matchup. No snow, though. No snow, the forecast. Low 40s. But traveling support, this has the uh, promises of a great series. You're referring to the snow game back in 2012 because crazy things always happen between D.C. and New York. It's a rivalry game. The supporters will travel for these games. The managers, they really feel this rivalry. They bleed the colors. And the two teams don't like each other. And I think New York looks at D.C. And yeah, they're first in the East. But I don't think New York is intimidated at all. And I think it's going to lead to a wide open series. Yeah, surf your calendar Sunday, Univision Deportes and MLS Live. And stay tuned right here to MLSsoccer.com for complete complete coverage of the MLS Cup playoffs.